Hi, I'm Liddell with Computer Side Electronics, and we're in the lab. And today I'm going to basically go over the different various types of batteries that may be manufactured within the hoverboard. Um, there are aftermarket batteries, there are batteries made by Samsung, and there's batteries that are made by LG as well. Um, there's also counterfeit Samsung batteries and counterfeit LG batteries. Um, I'm going to basically briefly show you the different variations of batteries within the hoverboard. So let's get started. Okay, here we have a hoverboard a customer brought in for a frame replacement. The frame was cracked and damaged, so um, this particular battery here was within this customer's hoverboard. And as you can see, that there is technically no brand on this particular battery. It is not the Chinese battery that has the very cheap uh, label on it as well as a very, very cheap build or a very cheap uh, quality. This particular battery here, as you can see, it says Samsung on it, but this is a counterfeit Samsung battery. Let's get into it and see completely what this battery looks like. Okay, I have removed the battery, the screw for the battery brace, set it to the side, and what we have here it says Samsung 36 volt, 4,400 milliamps, and as you can see here, I have the word Samsung, word Samsung. These things can be ordered to say anything that you want them to say. When China is making things, or you request a certain item from China, you can make them say and put whatever on them that you want. And this particular company decided that they want to have the word Samsung and put it on the battery to kind of give it the idea that it's a Samsung built battery. And it's not. Let's see what the real Samsung battery looks like. Okay, the hoverboards as well as the batteries I sell are certified. They are authentic. Here is the certification for the particular hoverboard here, as you can see. And then we have the certification for the Samsung battery, as you can see here. We have an inspection report and everything in the data sheet here. Okay, so let's take a look at what the battery looks like that's supposed to be original Samsung in the other hoverboard, the customer hoverboard, compared to the original Samsung in the hoverboards that I sell and the Samsung batteries that I sell from the same distributor. As you can see here on this particular hoverboard, this is the one of the hoverboards that I sell. This is a white six inch Bluetooth model. And as you can see on the battery here, it says specifically with the Samsung logo, this is the original Samsung logo and the way it's supposed to look. Not just the word Samsung. Let's take the battery brace off and see, get a better look. Okay, I'm taking the brace off. Let's move these wires to the side. As you can see, there's a big difference in the labeling. It has the word Samsung on it. But it also has the logo. That is the original logo. This is the original Samsung battery. Let's take a look at what the LG battery looks like. Okay, here is First of all, this is the hoverboard parts that I sell. I have everything to pretty much go to hoverboards. But, here is an LG battery that I also sell. Take a good look at it. You will see that the logo is very authentic. It's the original logo as well. As you can see, everything here is up to par and the way it's supposed to be, even on the back of this, you have instructions and everything. Okay? These batteries here are not Samsung or LG, but they are good quality. These are Samsung quality type batteries, and these are also good. I've also sold hoverboards with this particular battery in it and have had no problems with it at all. Okay? 
Okay, if we go over here, you can see this particular hoverboard battery here has no markings, no labels whatsoever on it at all. As you can see, it's got some black marks on the harness here, which means that it's been arcing and shortening out. So this is a potential bad battery. This battery most likely would be one of the batteries that would cause the hoverboard to catch on fire. Okay. This particular battery here and this particular hoverboard is one of those batteries that has the Chinese writing on it. It's not the real that has the, the Chinese writing all over it, but it is one of those potential batteries that could, could possibly potentially catch on fire. Okay, well now you have seen the different type of variations of batteries for hoverboards. That will conclude the video for this particular lesson, but always remember when you're doing anything to your hoverboard to disconnect the hoverboard here before doing anything. Just disconnect it from the battery and begin working on anything that you need to work on. But also keep in mind that even though you did connect the battery in these capacitors right here this is a posture sensor there's still power stored in them so you still have to be careful make sure you don't arc out and ground out anything on the metal and you should be fine this concludes the video on hoverboard batteries from computer side electronics